Welcome to the process of processing sisal leaves to get sisal fiber. As we know that from sisal we only need what we call sisal fiber. At the far end you can see carriage or you can see trucks with, uh, with sisal leaves which are led to be taken to the machine so that they can be processed to obtain what we call sisal fiber. Yeah, the machine is very huge. And as you can see, it needs a lot of manpower. As you can see, we have more than we have more than we have more than what we we have more than eight workers. As you can see, the sisal leaves are on the carriage or they are on the belt. They are being thrown and they are being put towards the machine so they can be processed to get what we call sisal fiber. As you know that sisal fiber has so many. <coughs> Sisal fiber has so many functions. Example, we use sisal fiber making what we call mats, what we call baskets. In other countries, they use sisal fiber in plastering. Others use sisal fiber in making what we call ceiling boards in the houses. As you can see, the sisal leaves have gone through the process of extracting of extracting sisal fiber, and this. At the point we have what we call a wet sisal fiber, this one. So we are going to dry this using the sun. Then from there we are going to pack it. As you can see, it really needs a lot of manpower. As you can see, those men are working in water. The machine is very huge, as you can see. Those are the belts that pulls and rotates the wheels that are used to process sisal leaves. Now here after drying our fiber, we are going to get this one, a dry fiber. This dry fiber is going to be packed into carriages. These carriages now, this is what we call carriages. Is going to be packed inside after grading. One carriage carries only one type of fiber. We have three types of fiber. First one is SS fiber. Second one is UG fiber. As you can see, we have so many workers. That means that sisal processing it is a manpower or it is labor oriented process as it needs all she requires a lot of manpower in the room which is almost a quarter of the room we have more than 20 workers that means inside the room we might have more than 60 workers that's one disadvantage that say so processing it needs all she requires a lot of reaper and you know reaper a company has to pay for it this makes the production costs go high now how can we differentiate that this is SS and this is Yuchi fellow white fiber it is IUG and the one with Black spot, it is an SS fiber. And when you are when you are grading or when you are grouping, you have to make sure that the far end, one of the far end, is on the same level. They have to be on the same level. Indeed, fiber processing is needs a lot of attention. As you can see, at the far end of the wall, on the wall, we have men who are working towards the wall. They are putting the fiber inside a machine, then they pull it outright. That means that some fiber come out of the machine 
why they are not straight so they are straightening the fiber Now after the fiber has been grouped, it's second to a, compression, a compressing machine where it is compressed then tied up to make piles ready to be transported maybe locally or outside the country. Mostly we transport to Egypt, other to Germany. After it has been compressed, we have this piles. Then they are weighed, or they are put on a weighing machine. Then the weight is recorded. Then they are packed there, ready to be transported. Thank you.